class a very pleasant morning to all of you first of all welcome to the second semester of this academic year my dear students after completing the first semester today we are going to begin with the second semester let's see the topic of social science for the students of class 8th my dear students today we are going to start with the very first topic that is socio religious reforms what are socio religious reforms the reforms which were conducted in the society in order to benefit the people of the society are considered as socio religious reforms let's start with the introduction part my dear students in the 19th century the indian society was infested with various social evils like superstitions illiteracy ignorance evil social customs caste systems etc the condition of women was worst in this narrow minded society various evil customs were widespread in our society like the customs of dudh piti that is female infest infanticide by immersing a newborn girl child into the container full of milk sati system that is burning of a woman on the hus- on her husband's pyre denial of widowry marriage etc due to the western education a new awakening began in the 19th century to remove the evil customs from the society intensive efforts were made to bring the social and the religious reforms raja ram mohan rai was the first among such reformers so in order to improve the status of women in society various religious reforms social and religious reforms were undertaken in order to give them their stake a western education which, which was imported by the britishers in our nation proved to be a boon in order to get a status of women in society previously there were various social evil customs that such as dudh pee piti you might have seen various movies and serials in which television uh, publishes the customs or give us a small light ray of light in uh, according to dudh piti as soon as a new female or a girl child is born they are um, emerging that woman or girl child into the container full of milk sati system is what dear students you are really aware about denial of widow remarriage when the husband of a lady dies at that time the widows cannot remarry and live their life in the society due to the western education there were many reforms there were many new things done in order to change the thinking of society and the very first reformer was raja ram mohan roy so today we are going to study more in detail about raja ram mohan roy Raja Ram Mohan Roy was born in the year 1772 century era in the Hooghly district of Bengal in Radhanagar village in a Brahmin family. Raja Ram Mohan Roy got married in his early childhood. His brother's wife became sati on her husband's death. This incident shook Raja Ram Mohan Roy deeply. He initiated many reforms and protested strongly against the evil customs such as child marriage casteism dudh piti etc he also he started a bengali newspaper named samvat kaumudi in the year 1821 and also mirat ul akbar in persian in the year 1822 brahmo samaj was established in the year 1828 century era raja ram mohan roy established a hindu college in kolkata so the birthplace of raja ram mohan roy was radhanagar in hugli district of bengal he belonged to a brahmin family and was born in the year 1772 in the very early age that means in early childhood he got married and he saw the incident of sati when his brother died and his brother's wife became sati on her husband's death this incident was kind of a terrible incident for him in his early childhood many Uh, things were done and many protests were performed by raja ram mohan roy so that such evil customs can be banned in india brahmo samaj was established in 1828 by raja ram mohan roy and also he started hindu college in kolkata 
he recommended many changes to the british government like independence of press freedom of speech women's right personal liberty judiciary independent from executive etc raja ram mohan roy started a movement to abolish a sati system as a result the british governor of bengal lord william bentek passed a law to abolish the sati pratha raja ram mohan roy who made recommended many changes to the british government the people first of all were not given the privacy or the freedom of speech even the independence of press was not what's not also in the hands of the people of india so raja ram mohan roy mainly focused on the various topics and also he he made a different kind of role and he had a great pace in which he told the british governor governor general to abolish the law of sati the law was framed in 1829 so it can be said that raja ram mohan roy laid the foundation of the indian renaissance that means new awakening after the regards to initiate the social and political reforms the emperor of delhi sent raja ram mohan roy to england in the year 1830 in regards to his case of right to property raja ram mohan roy died in bristol in the year 1833 century era Brahmo Samaj played a vital role in reforming the contemporary Hindu Samaj. Brahmo Samaj tried to abolish the rigid and superstitious religious uh, belief prevent uh, prevalent then. So the establishment of Raja Ram Mohan Roy that is Brahmo Samaj also had a great part in making a new system and a new change in the society. Brahmo Samaj as soon as raja ram mohan roy died brahmo samaj took his lead and started various religious and the social reforms in order to make india bright my dear students here we are at the end of this video in the very next part we will further continue the same chapter till then dear students you have to go through this chapter once from your textbook and try to read the same so thank you and have a nice day